So, how's everything going? Well, the first thing I want to talk about today um, was relationships. Because there's somebody I know currently going through this, and I'll be honest with you, these are the worst types of Philippine women you'll come across. They're in an age bracket which, although they're in their 20-somethings, their mentality is about 14, 15-year-olds. Um, and I mean, I've realized a guy just walk away, ditch them. Um, when I say them, because there's, there's two sisters bickering, because there's another thing people do, is if they know you've got a jealous streak, their sister or brother or whatever will play on it. And I'll be like, oh, I've seen your boyfriend up at the uh, the market with his new girlfriend and all this sort of stuff. And they do it on purpose. Um, they like seeing their sister or whatever having a freak out. But the problem is, then you're suddenly getting these texts saying, what the, you're doing, where the, you know, and all this sort of abuse. Like, what? I, I'm sat at home watching TV or I'm sat at home working or whatever. It's the mentality. Now, over the years, I've seen it a few times, and it's just not been worth the time. Because what you find is the girls will, won't mature for a long period of time, and it's normally something's changed in their own lives. Um, what I mean is, for example, say they're the, the youngest of the family. So she's used to getting money off the parents, the brother, the sisters, whatever not really had to have any responsibilities because all the bills are paid for by the brothers, the sisters, the parents and she's sort of left to do her own because she's, she's still going through education and taking as long as possible to avoid that inevitable um, carrying the parents through their pension age. Um, so these people can be quite difficult because they're A, they've got no value of money, B, they're often very, very immature because they've never had anything that helped them mature up. It's always been um, other people dealing with the big problems and they don't deal with bills, they don't deal with complicated things. They also don't deal with cause and effect. They don't deal with responsibilities. They don't deal with um, the, uh, what do you call it? Oh. Uh. Slipped my mind already. Um, it, they don't deal with consequence. So when they send you a load of abusive texts and you're going, but I'm sad at home, what are you talking about? They don't then turn around, they, they'll apologize, oh, this, oh, I'm sorry for that. They don't mean it. They don't mean it. They'll do exactly the same tomorrow as soon as their sister or brother says something else along the same lines. And they'll just keep doing it. Because they don't have this whole thing that actions have a consequence um, and it never gets any easier because even if you left and come back you know after them crying at your door um, a week later they drop straight back into the same habits and this is why I always say to people I don't recommend women under 25 because by the time they hit 25 they've, they've had some family crisis they've had to take on responsibilities they've had to deal with issues within their own life as well as their parents and siblings and stuff. So they're mature. They're normally working, self-sufficient, and they're, they've got their head screwed on. They won't have a great view of the world because they haven't been anywhere yet. But what they will have is an understanding of money. They understand what they actually want in life. They understand the issues relating to boyfriends. They understand the issues relating to within their own family. So once they hit around 25, 25 plus, you're starting to get somebody who's mature. Because even at, at that sort of age group, the equivalent of probably a 19, 20 year old from the UK or US in general. Um, because it's just the way the society is. You find people, well, you find kids are often left to run riot in the Philippines, they're often just running around, you know, sitting in a restaurant, the parents sitting eating, the kids just roaming around with In the West, it's frowned upon, but in the Philippines, it's quite normal. And that's because they're just left to do the, what they want. Um, there's a recent thing that's developed um, where somebody's not gone to school because 
they didn't want to. And, you know, it's not their choice. They're a child. You're the parent. You don't decide that your child doesn't go to school. You decide that they will go to school because at that age, the education is the most important thing. What do you want? Do you want my phone? Okay. Um, so, the, this is the things you've got to look at. It, it, they seem very childish and immature. Just get rid of them. But, um, I can't say any more blunt than that because, quite simply, you'll just keep getting headaches over and over again. Different ones, different excuses, different problems, and there's much better people out there. Thanks for watching.